Hey, hey everybody, welcome back to another pet battle video. Uh, for today, once again, going to be playing a gimmick team here. This time, a team of all snakes. And uh, starting off, we're going to go against two of the, uh, you know, best pets and uh, PvP meta right now. Two mechanical Bendar and Dragonlings, plus slap a Dark Moon Zeppling in the mix of it. And uh, it's probably going to be a recipe uh, for disaster, but we'll see how it goes. Now, something I do have going for me is that Puncture Wound can take down Decoy right here, actually. Unfortunately, it's going to waste the ability, but at least I can take it down in just one attack as opposed to, you know, hitting him twice with, you know, Poison Fang, for example. All right, let's go ahead and go for another Poison Fang. I feel like he's probably going to... He did not switch out. Okay. He's got Flyby? <laughs> what? What are you thinking? Oh, people who let run Flyby instead of Breath on Mechanical Pandar and Dragling. I always comment about them having a very active imagination. And yeah, that definitely still very much holds true right now. Because why in the world would you ever run flyby unless if you're doing like a gimmick team? Because I have done that before and it's terrible. Terrible. Flyby is just so garbage on the MPD. Well, this is going pretty well for me so far. So far, so good. Okay, so it could be pretty bad if he actually goes into the tonk. He did not go into the taunt. And he uses Thunderbolt. Okay, I'm going to guess that you're a newer pet battler because, you know, most people, first of all, wouldn't use Flyby. <laughs> and second, when it go for a Thunderbolt, wow, you are blinded. <laughs> He's got it on this one, too. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, go ahead. Switch into, uh... One of these two and keep spamming your decoy. Oh, there goes my beast racial. Gonna be doing even more damage. <laughs> oh, he is not having a good day. Let me guess, you have flyby on your Zeppelin as well? Okay. You know what? Let's just go ahead and get some nice, juicy damage right here. Take advantage of that beast ratio. Probably gonna go for the decoy. There it is, just as I predicted. But that is perfectly fine. Because I could just take it down with this puncture wound right here. Oh, he's actually running the correct move on Dark Moon Zeppelin. Alright. Ooh, well, well, there goes one MPD racial. Let's blind you right here. Probably, yeah, he's probably not going to die even if the dot were to crit. I wonder what he's got for his middle slot. Okay, well, that MPD is just going to lose his racial. If he goes for decoy... Um, I mean, he'll probably still end up dying, actually. Probably going to go for it because it's the wussy thing to do and he's just at this point prolonging the match and well thank you actually he didn't prolong the match he decided to run away <laughs> oh my god imagine running flyby on both of your mpds oh my goodness where is it at right here this thing is just so damn good and you take a garbage move like flyby and you look at it and you're like yep that's good. Let's roll with that. Oh, man. That battle should have been way more difficult than it had any right to be. That was too easy. Especially since he kind of played like a bot. As most people want to go for their hard-hitting Thunderbolt while blinded. Oh, that was hilarious. Oh, bye bye. Such a garbage move so terrible like i would even say slicing wind and triple snapper way better flyby is just i wish it didn't exist terrible move terrible 
Man. Who is the hardest hitting uh, flyby user? Is it you? The you, Yipper? Is still, it's going to be hitting like a wet noodle. Oh my god. <laughs> he went and got three iron starlets. Woo wee. All right. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, it swapped them out. Wait a minute. Well, I knew that it swaps out the pets, but it swapped it out instantly. Let's see. At the end of the round. Oh, it's at the end of the round. For some reason, I thought it was as the, uh, what is it? As the dot, like, wore off or something. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Holy shite. You know, th you know, obviously, this is ability I really don't use a whole lot. That's awesome. And he just flat out ran away. <laughs> he ran away. Oh, my God. Poor guy. I didn't even intend on that happening because I completely misread what the uh, little tooltip there said. Oh, he's changing his strategy. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so funny. Poor guy. Oh, man, that's awesome. That's a pretty good ability, actually. All right, come on. Go for your supercharge. Beautiful. Oh, he's not going to be having a good day after this. <laughs> oh, poor buddy. All right, puncture wound. Here we go. Boom, boom. He ran away. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. All snake team dominating these mechanical pets. Good job, snakes. I'm proud of you. I think that this one is a cobra. Because if you turn it, yep, it's got a little hooded, little hood that a cobra would have. That's cool. I like that. Uh, first time actually ever using the ar archetype of cunning here. I actually, before recording, threw a level 25 stone on it. Oh my god, this guy. Oh no. And none of my snakes are faster than indigo. Alright, well, I guess this is where the fun officially ends. Uh, I'll give it my all, but more than likely I'm gonna lose. Huh, he brought in the Gorm Root Stinger. Okay. Oh, this is such a bitch team. Like, imagine just ru routinely running this team. Like, what sort of pathetic, worthless, bored out of your mind human being you have to be to just continuously run that team all the time. Good thing I blinded him there too, because he definitely would have gone for a puncture wound and just killed off my adder. All right. Get this going right here. Let's see. Beast racial, probably. Yep. Beast racial. Okay. Puncture wound should be able to kill him from here. Oh, bastard. I should have predicted that. I forgot. He's actually not your, you know, typical player. Ah, uh, I should have predicted that. Okay, well, Anomalous is dead, but yeah, I don't see my pets actually winning versus Indigo. It's just too good of a pet. It's faster than my 341 speed pets. Okay, whatever. Poison Fang, if I hit, I hit. Whatever, he's got Horn Gore, I know that for sure, and then the dodge. Okay, he's probably going to dodge right here because he's, you know, a bastard. Yep, there it is. Okay, I lose. 
I officially lose. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, I think this forfeit button is looking pretty tempting right here. But if I just keep talking about random stuff like, you know, what I had for breakfast this morning, it, you know, wastes this time, this guy's time by running out the clock right here. So, yeah, let's do that. And go ahead and select a move while we're at it. <laughs> oh, it, it, it skipped my turn there. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's go ahead and let this turn timer run down a little bit more just so we waste his time a little bit for playing this garbage uh, team during the Critter Week. All right, we'll give this a moment before I re -queue. Hopefully, maybe he'll queue into somebody else. So, yeah, how are you all doing today? <laughs> doing great out there? I hope so. I'm doing all right. <laughs> Definitely not trying to you dodge somebody or anything like that. Oh, no, don't you worry about me. Just uh, having a great old time with my snake team here. And, yeah, let's go ahead and find battle. Oh... Please, 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 God, don't let me queue into him. Oh, what a terrible player. Terrible. The worst. The worst of the worst. Oh, no skill whatsoever. All right. Okay, here we go. I'm guessing this might be him. I'm not sure, because usually whenever I win a whole bunch versus random teams like that, he goes and swaps over to something very strong. Maybe that's his way of, I guess, baiting me in the queue. You know, I queue with a bunch of random weak teams. Uh, I see that this player's out in the battle. I'm going to switch over to my overpowered Indigo team. So I'm pretty sure that's what he's doing right now, but no point in me actually doing anymore. But hey, got some battles still and, uh, you know, did better versus him than I thought I would. That's going to do it for this one. A bit shorter of a video than usual, but hey, that's okay. You know, it happens. Uh, once again, all gimmick team here, a uh, team of all snakes. Pretty fun, actually. You know, I thought it was going to do a little worse than it actually did, but all of these snakes are... You know, pretty good. These two are tier one. And this one, probably not. It's, I love terrifying toxicity. It's pretty interesting. I completely misunderstood the tooltip. Apparently it swaps out, you know, at the very end of the turn of using it. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, once again, if you guys have any sort of random gimmick team suggestions like this one, uh, feel free to let me down below and I will definitely look into it. That's going to do it for now. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, have a nice day.